Hey everybody, this is Paul with Die Hard RC Addicts and RC Foam Fighters. Um, we're finally back out to Herman Airport to do some flying. And today I'm going to be doing a maiden flight on this uh, real rough cut plane that I made. Um, we're calling it the Viper Jet. One of my friends, Lewis, <laughs> um, gave the name to it. Um, basically this is a 50 millimeter um, EDF jet. It's got a Dr. Mad Thrust EDF that runs on 4S Lipo Pack. Um, the overall shape, I kind of stole the um, wing shape from my Nova Jet. So hopefully that'll um, be good to fly. I'm using the same CG point as the Nova Jet. Um, on this first one that I built here, the uh, CG was a little hard to get, so I had to use a bigger battery than I wanted. So I'm using a 1400 uh, milliamp battery. It's a 4S pack. Um, when I, if it flies good, I'll redesign it and probably make the nose a little longer so I can put a little bit smaller battery in to get the weight down. Right now the weight is a little over 18 ounces, so that's probably a little heavy for a 50 millimeter um, duck fan, but we're going to try it out and see what happens. So let's throw it in the air for the first time and see if it flies. You got it, Franco? Yeah. Okay, I had had Frank hand launch it for the first uh, launch. I didn't get the launch on footage. But it looks like it's actually flying. Um, it's a little bit windy today, so it feels like the wind is actually kind of pushing it around. But hey, at least it flies. Kind of. Yeah. How does it does it feel touchy at all? It feels a little touchy. Uh, I think most of that's because of the wind, though. Sounds cool. Especially for a little 50 millimeter. So this idea. is coming into the wind. It's the gusts are supposed to be around 8 to 12 miles an hour today, I think, out of here. It's not a speed demon, but at least it's flying this time. That's a little over half throttle there, just to keep it in the air. Oh, all right, all right. That's the sun, let me get it down. Oh, camera's having trouble. Focus? Yeah, it's a blue sky. That sounds cool, I like the sound. Oh, man, this camera's like wicked. All right, guys, the first flight of the um, Viper Jet went pretty good, so I'm going to do a second flight. Uh, I'm going to try and hand launch it myself so Frank can get the uh, launch on video. So hopefully I can get my hand back on stick mm -hmm. and uh, get it flying. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Yep. Yeah, that was kind of a up launch. <laughs> Looks like it didn't have no problem, though. Yeah. I think the wind did die down a little bit, so. That's about half throttle there. Seemed like you got a pretty decent flight out of it last time, too. Fire in the background. <laughs> you see, when it's going slow, you can see the wind kind of making it twitch a little bit. All right. You got a KF on this one too, right? Yeah. KF2? KFM2, yeah. Roll pretty quick. Flies inverted. So 
Well, you said the design's a little bit based off the Supernova's Yeah, wing. the overall wing shape is pretty much like the Does Supernova. Does it fly similar or not? Uh, I don't know, not quite as locked in. I think part of it's just the lack of power. <laughs> so That and maybe the extra big air ducts kind of hitting the air. But uh, otherwise, I think it flies pretty good. I might have to build a little bit bigger one with the 64 millimeter duck fan, something with a little more power. This would probably be a pretty good little park flyer though. Yeah, it's about the right speed, man. Yeah, I think me and Frank are a little skewed because we're always used to flying the super fast planes too. You know, if it's not over 100 miles an hour, it's still slow to us. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Pilot error there. Stall it up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it out and then bring it in, Frank. All right. Oh, coming in fast. Okay, guys, it looks like the uh, Viper Jet flies pretty good. Um, I think I need to do some modifications to it a little bit, um, get it more like I want. And then uh, maybe if it goes good, then we'll uh, see if we can make some plans for it. And I'm also thinking I might make a prop version of this plane, uh, something to make it a little lighter and probably a little faster. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks, guys. One, two, three, go. Okay, guys, that first uh, maiden flight didn't go too well. I don't know what happened. It went up and then just kind of rolled over. Um, but I did notice when I was doing like some static tests that it seems to want to push the nose up. So I'm not sure if we're getting some sort of weird effect from that. Um, but I'm going to throw it up. I cut the nose open a little bit bigger give a little more air and hopefully to make it less deflecting off the nose and push in weird uh, directions. And I added a little bit more nose weight to hopefully help keep the nose down. So I'm gonna try and throw it a little more level and see if we can get in the air. Um, hopefully once it builds up speed, it'll be more stable. Um, let's find out. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that broke